be ready. I'm going to be leaving the club after 14 years of playing here and I've decided to, to take up a, an opportunity elsewhere and it's a, it's a really tough decision to make and I've obviously so many amazing memories here at Saints but I just feel that you know the time's come for me now to, to sort of move on and the club you know the club moves on as well and, and I go in and do something new and you know which is an exciting opportunity for me and my family so it, it's the hardest decision I've ever I've ever made you know, I've obviously been at a club for for so long making so many great op you know start again sorry <laughs> Answer, answer, say that again. <clears throat> it's the the most difficult decision I've ever had to make. The obviously playing here for for so long, for 14 years, creating so many special memories. It's been yeah the, the toughest decision we've ever faced. But this club is, has been so good to me. It's the it's the greatest club of all. So many unbelievable memories. The fans, the friends, the friendships, the the bonds I've made with the people, the town, the staff. I could never ever ask for anything more. You know, in the wildest dreams from being a 14, 15 year old kid, to, you know, kid turning up to, uh, to training at Nosey Road, and then you know, turn fast forward the clocks, and I'm sat here at 30, 30 odd, and yeah, wow, we've, we've achieved so much together, and uh, yeah, I'm so grateful for, for you all for that. So thank you. My head's gone a bit. The friendship and, and bond I have with with Eamon and, and everyone at the club is. It's pretty special, and it you know it gets uh, emotional even you know even thinking of it and what we've been through and yeah I'll for forever be very grateful of, of Eamon and, and and Mike Rush for what they've done for me the the way they always made me feel wanted you know the, everything they've all the opportunities they've gave me and you know number one even giving me an opportunity in the first place when I was a young lad at, at 15 16 and taking me to the other side of the world making a punt on me and then for obviously to to repay them I'd like to think and in all them great memories we've made on the, on the field and off it as well, but mostly on the field, you know, them grand final wins, the Challenge Cup, uh, the World Cup Challenge, it's just been, if you could if you could write a career or write a chapter, you know, I, I, if, if you'd asked me this 10, 12 years ago, I probably I wouldn't have even dreamed to, to have written it like this. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving the club uh, of my dreams. You know, I've, this is this is my club, it always will be. St. Helens is my club, like I said, it just, Sometimes opportunities come up what you just can't you can't turn down and you go you gotta jump in with both feet. But for me this this club is always my club and, and Eamon and Rushy and Wello and all the people who's been here, the fans, it's it means more than you'll ever know and I'm I'm just so so happy for all them for them special years we spent together. The the hardest the, you know, I could have quite easily uh, you know stayed here for uh, another couple of years and and just enjoyed success and, me and memories what last a lifetime. But you know, I've done that. I've done that now, and you know that, that that's one of the, the, the main toughest decisions I had to make. Sometimes you just have to you have to dive in. But that's what inspires me. You know, it, it has been the the most difficult decision. I've been so loved here. I've been so supported. I know I'll probably never feel that ever again. You know, the, the way these you know for a lad from Wigan signing at 15 to be taken on board by the town of St. Helens, the fans, you know, the, the staff, the, just the people at the club, it's just, yeah, I could never, it's just, it's just what dreams are made of, but I'm excited, I'm also excited for the next generation as well, and I know that behind me, you know, we as a team have built so much strong foundations that's been laid before us, you know, James Roby, Paul Wellings, Paul Schofield, Chris Joint, go back before that, Tom Van Vollenhoven, you know, you look at the foundations what are set at this club and you know, we stand on them on them shoulders of giants and I'd like to think that, you know, we can I can have my own little impact here. I can I can leave memories and those coming in behind me uh, can can be inspired by it, look back, you know, look at the way I acted, look at the way I performed and hopefully can inspire the next generation because I know this club here, the people here will get behind anyone, you know, whether he's from St. Helens, whether he's from a lad from Wigan. Uh, or wherever it's from, uh, Australian, Kiwi, no one gets behind us like uh, the Saints fans do. And the, the, the memories I'll cherish forever is, is, you know, singing my name or, you know, I've got my kids on the field and, you know, they're singing about their dad. You know, I'll never, you know, things that I'll never ever forget. It's just built, it's just built in me forever, you know, when I walk in or walk around and I see 
you know, that stand shouting and screaming your name and wanting you to do so well. That's what it's about for me, you know, it's not the tries and, and everything what happens on the pitch, oh, it's amazing. You know, the, like I said, the memories are they're insane, but for me it's after, when, it's, when the dust is all settled and they're still there and win, lose, win, rain or shine, they're there, still cheering you on, so for me I'll be forever grateful for, for this club. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, no, mate. Because it's different, it's different. Yeah. You don't usually say that, it's It was, was Roy Simmons, the, the coach back then, 12, 13 years ago. He gave me my first start. I'll be forever grateful for, for all the coaches I've had. Uh, but especially Roy, who gave me that. Uh, yeah, I, I think I got 10 minutes of the, at Salford away. And then I started my first full game at Wakefield at home and scored a decent decent full-length try as well, which was, was always good in the, for, for the memories. And, you know, especially for a sort of full debut as well, it was special. But yeah, I just the, the way I got embraced straight away, the culture, the lads, the way they put you, you know, put you under your wing, the, the sort of the, the fans get behind you, it was incredible. And yeah, just another, you know, I could sit here and talk about memories. Wow, I think we'd be here for probably another 10 years that we've got that many, but yeah, it was a special day. Like I said, in 2011, and, and Johnny was already in the, the first team, and, and Johnny took me under his wing. You know, I used to go back to back to his house after games and look at all the notes he'd write on a game because he's a big nerd but he uh, he's always been the same you know, by far one of the best players I've ever ever got a chance to play with pull on a shirt he looked after us from a young age you know Percy came into the uh, first team yeah a couple of years younger than, than us and sort of felt like you know that was my job my role to, to look after him as well and you know made you know got to play with Paul Wellings James Roby just so many great players, it's insane. Morgan Knowles, Matty Lees, you know, just, just I've got you know, so much admiration and respect for them boys and that's, that's probably the one thing I'll, I'll miss the most, is uh, you know, playing with them lads. I can't remember much about when their World Cup Challenge got knocked out. That's probably, it should be up there, but I can't remember much. Uh, but I, th I think 2019 sticks with me. I think we've been under so much pressure of grand final wins, uh, won in 2014, but then we had a few semi-final losses in the cup, uh, semi-final, you know, to get to a grand final in 18 and 17 and lost, and then we finally got to the big dance at Old Trafford in 19, and yeah, everyone were trying to try to write us off against Salford, you know, trying to put pressure on us, and yeah, we uh, we rose above it, you know, it was always expected to win the game, but people were trying to put us down already, but saying we weren't cut out for it, and then we went and did it, and. Yeah, it was a special time, and then I think it's a great memory because it's it's the start of the it was the start of the sort of dynasty of the 19, 20, 21, 22, and sort of you could feel something special happening, and yeah, for me that 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 was just that just lit a flame in, inside us as a group, and we was like, yeah, wow, well, this is this is it now, this is where we go, and we, we ain't stopping. You want to finish your time on the high, don't you? Yeah, I certainly do. I want to uh, finish on, on the best possible terms, like I've always given this club. I'll give my absolute all. I want to win a grand final. I want to, you know, send me off with a grand final win, but not selfishly. I want to win another grand final with this group because, not because it'll be special for a couple of lads to go out that way. It's because we deserve it. You know, I think we are a great group. We're a group who holds each other accountable. You know, we we work harder than most. We we pride ourselves on working harder than the rest. We're, we're coached by a, by a great a great group of, uh, of staff and people behind the scenes. So yeah, I, I don't want to go out self, you know with a win for me. I want to go out with another grand final win for for everyone else and, and sort of kickstart another memory and hopefully kickstart another another great era for this club. I want to say thank you to all the fans who have stood out there on the terraces and supported me since day one. Who've wrote me a nice message, you know who's kids have come and, and asked for a photo or been in the garden doing a Tommy Mekinson finish. Whatever you've done to, to have, a, have an impact with me because know that you have and I hope I've had a small impact on some of your lives as well, give you, you many happy memories because yeah, my life's been full of them. You know, I, I great, you know, I great fans, I was stayed in my great town. You know, this town adopted me when I was, like I spoke about, when I was 15, 16 and we've never looked back. We've created so many unbelievable special memories together. So from the bottom of my heart, I'll always be a saint, I always will. And I thank you so much and love you all.